Hi everyone, it's MJ the Fellow Actuary and in this video I want to show you my Pokemon collection which is going up for sale. So if you're interested in any of these things, let me know. But let's just start with, I think, the big gun. I mean, let's just start off with Charizard. And one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video is because I put these on the internet and everybody wants to know about the condition. So I'm going to be honest with you guys, I did use Charizard in my deck when I was playing as, as a kid. So it's not mint, it's not perfect, but you know, it's still it's still decent. Like it really is a very, very nice card. Um, let's move on quite quickly. Let's jump up to Pokemon card number two, which is going to be what is this called? Clefairy. Wasn't wasn't a fan of Clefairy in the Pokemon games. It is hollow, it's shiny. Um, all of these ones that I'm going to be showing you now are from the base set. So this is, you know, this is what number something? Five out of 102. Um, and yeah, I didn't like Clefairy, so didn't really get used that much in many of my decks. So yeah, very, very good condition with that one over there. Um, and this one's a little bit of a favorite, good old Mewtwo, uh, gain, like, I didn't really have a lot of psychic cards, so didn't really get to play a lot with him, which is a good thing, because he is in amazing condition, um, and yeah, this is, is Mewtwo, unfortunately, all my cards do have a shadow, they're not first edition, I mean, here in South Africa, I don't think we got any first edition boxes, because I was like, one of the first kids to be like, I need Pokemon! And um, yeah, we didn't really get uh, <laughs> too many special things. Whoops. Okay, this card does have a little bit of, of wear and tear. I remember trading for it. So not the best condition, probably the worst condition of my base set Pokemon cards. And this is Nine Tails. And yeah, and hopefully you can see it on the video. There is some scratches, not the best condition. And that is the Nine Tails. Um, then we've got uh, doubling up, so those are all the hollows. Now we're getting to just the the normal rare. So we got two beedrills, beautiful condition. Um, yeah, so those are the little beedrills. Um, then we have oh, I really like this Pokemon. This was uh, Dragonair. Um, unfortunately, not holographic. It would have been so awesome if it was. But yeah, that is Dragonair again quite uh, condition is it's not flawless i'm like i'm not gonna lie to you guys like this isn't like mint grade um you know these cards have been played with they have been looked at so they're not essential but they're, they're decent they're decent then let's maybe go through these a little bit quicker we've got electro buzz and electrode um yeah again both rare not uh not shiny so not hologram got the shadows and still in the base set, divided by 102. Then this, oh, this is gonna be a hard card to sell because this was the very first rare that I got in a booster pack. And I remember being so upset because one, it wasn't holographic and I thought all rares were supposed to be holographic. And also I didn't have a Pidgey, so I couldn't play with this card. But this was, so this is quite a lot of sentimental value behind, behind yeah, the Pidgeotto. And I remember, like, even in the, the anime, uh, Ash catches Pidgeotto before he catches Pidgey. And I was like, oh my gosh. Um, anyway, let's quickly just show, end off the, the base set with some of the trainer cards that are rare. I know they're not as sought after. Um, I don't have less, but yeah, we got four rare trainer poker cards for the base set. That's one of two. Okay, let's now move on to some of the promo cards. I absolutely love this Mew. Uh, so yeah, this is Mew. I only have one. I only have one of the beautiful Mew. Um, but I've got one Mew, and this is such a lame joke, but we're going to do it. And I've got two Mew 2s. Uh, sorry, I could not resist. These ones have got this... Kids WB present Pokemon the first movie. It was, I think it still is my favorite movie. I've got the DVD. I remember watching it in the movie theater. Absolutely amazing. So this is some of the, the Mew promo cards. Um, we've also then got two of the Electro Buzzers. It's interesting because like the internet kind of sees the promo cards as being rare. I remember growing up and being like, oh, are these are these even Pokemon cards? Like, are, are they not like, you know what's what's their point uh but yeah we got some some dragonites um apparently i don't think dragonite was was dragonite in the original 150 
or was it later on? I always, always used to have debates about that. I, I should just Google that. Um, then this is little Togepi. So I've actually just completed Pokemon Sword. And you, know, you can evolve this Togepi into something called Togi Kiss, and it's just so overpowered, like you just own the game. Uh, but yeah, this is Togepi, never really played with it. Um, I think I traded someone, because I actually don't remember how I came across that one. Then, um, Pikachus, I mean, everybody loves Pikachus. So this is the one type of promo card for, for Pikachu. Um, again, all of these great condition hardly used because even though everybody loves Pikachu not the strongest card to include in in a deck um, but speaking about Pikachu I've got a lot of these Pikachus like I've got a lot and I saw on the internet someone was selling theirs for like 400 pounds they're like super rare Pikachu and I'm like what this is like my most common card so yeah we've got a lot of promo Pikachus and um, all perfect perfect condition Let's now go on to the jungle set where we have a shiny hollow Pidgeot. Um, we've also got good old Genghis Khan and very, very good condition. Um, maybe the Genghis Khan slightly better than the Pidgey. The back, you can see, I think I used the Pidgeot. Like I think eventually when I got it, I was like, you know what, I have to use, because I wanted to use Pidgeotto. Um, but it was quite a weird one to use because Pidgeot, Pidgeotto was also rare, so it was hard to have two of him in your deck. Um, then let's look. We've got, I've got two Vaporeons. Um, I really like this one. And then also got Eevee's other evolution types, which is the Jolteon and the Flareon. Um, they're not hollow though. Unfortunately, these two aren't hollow. These two are. And perfect condition. Yeah, really, really good condition, these ones. Then we've got two, two Snorlaxes, really good condition, unfortunately not hollow. And then Wigglytuff and Clefable, which I remember being a kid, I was like, what is the difference? I can't tell the difference between those two Pokemon. And then yeah, everyone remembers good old Snorlax blocking the way in Pokemon, was it Pokemon Yellow? Yeah. I mean, gosh, I've even got the old Pokemon uh, cartridges as, as well. Um, ending up the jungle set, we've got Nido Queen, um, and we've got Electrode, the like the inverse Pokemon Pokeball, and yeah, really good condition as as well. So that kind of finishes up the jungle set of of the rares. I've got like a million of these cards that are not rares. Like, I mean, just to just show you guys, these are these are all base set um, normals and commons and stuff like that. Like we got we got a lot, too many. Um, Let's move into the fossil characterization, and we've got Ditto. It's probably the most confusing card to play because, yeah, try and explain that rules to a kid, and it is absolutely insane. That's, this this card caused a lot of fights. Um, then we've got Muck. I, I have a shiny Muck somewhere, and that's the thing is, there's a whole bunch of Pokemon cards. Like, I've got a Mech Champ, I've got a Blast Toys, I've got a Hitman Champ. I just can't find them. So this is very distressing. Uh, Dragonite, uh, yeah, such a lovely card. This one is hollow, beautiful condition. Um, really is a nice card. Um, I've got Hypno as as well. And um, had a Pinsir and a Chansey that I actually sold yesterday, along with a Dark Alakazam. Speaking of the Dark cards, Let's look at some of the Team Rockets. So we've got, yeah, just a nice little trainer. Then we've got two Dark Gyaradoses. Um, also play Pokemon Sword with Gyarados. Very powerful Pokemon. Dark Trio, this, I, I must say, I really like the art of this one. And this is, yeah, a nice, nice hollow, beautiful condition. I think this was my brother's card, so. <laughs> if he's watching this video, he's gonna get quite upset, yeah. I think these are also his. Um, we've got a, a non-hollow, what's this, Dark Vulpume and a shiny one. I was playing Pokemon Sword and I had Gloom and it evolved into something else, not Vulpume, but like a Bella and I was, I was very upset. It's very upset. Uh, let's see what else we got in Team Rocket. We got a, a Dark Slowbro, uh, not, ho not hollow. Then we've got this Dark Weezing and I think it's shiny. I really... It's really difficult to tell if this one's shiny or not because it's so slight. Uh, but yeah, that's the dark wheezing. 
Okay, then I've got quite a lot of uh, Arbux. I don't know why I put that accent on. Um, this one, unfortunately, is bent. So this is probably the worst condition card that I have. Corner's a little bit bent over there. Um, that's, yeah, that's not good at all. So probably won't even put that up for sale because that's doesn't meet quality um, criteria. Then we have a shiny hollow Arbok and we have a, a normal non-shiny one over here. Um, like I say, these two are not also in perfect condition. This one's good. This one, the, the non-hollow, this one does have a slight, a slight bend. You probably find I, I must have had a deck with Arbox in, and that's why I <laughs> these ones were quite used. I've got a lot of Ekans, gosh, millions of Ekans. And then, yeah, just ending off the, the darks, we've got uh, Magneton and we have Golba, uh, Golbat, and yeah, these two are also really, really nice condition. And then I don't know how valuable these ones are. Um, so these are like the gym trainer cards. And you know, you've got Brock's Sand Slash and Sabrina's Ganga. Um, there's another trainer card, and then this Butterfree. I'm not actually sure what series this is from because it's, it's a little bit different. So, yeah, these are just some. I think this is when I kind of started, stopped collecting Pokemon cards, was at this series. So, unfortunately, none of them are holographic, but they are rare. They do have the little star, um, and this is like the gym training ones. I must tell you guys a very sad story. So I had another Charizard and I traded that Charizard for these fake cards. And it's so, oh my gosh. So I was such an idiot as a child because you can tell these are fake because of how purple they are. Wait, this one doesn't look that purple. Oh, this one does might not look purple, but look how, look how fake this card is. I mean, a tackle that does that amount of damage. Look at that XP. So... I really, I had a Charizard, it was beautiful, I think it was even one of the earlier Charizards, it, I'm, I'm hoping it wasn't, no, no, I don't think, yeah, so like I said, South Africa, I don't think we got first editions, but I traded it for all of these fake cards, and it's, I really wanted Raichu, absolutely loved Raichu growing up, Zapdos is, was also one of my favorite legendary birds, um, completely got scammed, but sure, you can tell that these are fake, it's just, the blurry, the font at the bottom is really bad. And like I say, you've got this purple, purple coloring. So that is a sad story. I don't know. Like, I think it's, yeah, I don't think you can sell fake cards. I should, should burn them. Uh, but they are a reminder that I am not as smart as I think I am. And that you've got to be very, very careful when any, yeah, I guess anytime you're making negotiations in business. And I mean, this is kind of like it for the rare cards. So these are just other cards that I've got. I mean, I've got various Pikachus. Unfortunately, none of them have got the red, the red cheeks. Uh, we've got a lot of Team Rocket common cards. Yeah, so these are like the non-rares. Um, gosh, yeah, you can see this. There's a lot of them. Um, oh, there's a little Eevee. And yeah, lots and lots of, uh, what is this? The Fossil Set. So I actually like that art from that slowpoke. It looks beautiful. So yeah, got lots and lots of these. Um, so I don't know if there's much of a market for the common cards other than the rare ones, but yeah, we do have. So if you are looking for one to maybe make up your set, let me know. We can we can make a deal. Yeah. Um, what else haven't I showed you guys? There's like a pack of cards here. I love Butterfree. I can't believe Butterfree is not a rare, it's just an uncommon. What are these? Oh, these are all the, the jungle, the jungle commas and stuff like that. Like I say, I really, oh, there's no Pikachu, really hoping to find my other Pokemon cards. Um, there's a Mac Champ, there's a Blastoise, there's a Hitmonchamp. Um, and that's what I'm just remembering from all those many years ago. Who knows what else there is, but I'm going through storage. This was the thing, I moved from Joburg to Cape Town. So put a lot of these cards in storage, haven't looked at them, but because it's the 25th anniversary, I thought, you know what, let's get them out, let's have a look, and um, yeah, if, if there's some good prices, then maybe, maybe we sell them. So if you are interested, let me know. Also, I mean, we got, we got a lot of energy. I mean, if your Pikachu needs some energy, you know, come chat to me. Um, also, same with the red ones. Um... Oh, I've also got second edition. Yeah, these are also some 
second edition. So they look similar to the base cards or the jungle cards, or like these little squirtles. Um, but they divide it by 130, not by 102. So not necessarily... I don't know. They, but look, they're very good condition. Really, really good um, cards here. Like I said, maybe let me just show you very quickly the base cards and then we'll conclude this video. There's there's that Pidgey. Where's that Pidgey that we could have used? Uh, but I mean, yeah, the condition of these cards, it's really, really is nice. That's why just holding nice little gloves probably shouldn't be paging through them too quickly you just want to preserve them amazing little specimens over here so yeah if you if you want any pokemon cards um message me my email address i think should i use the work email address or my, my throwaway email address let's rather use the throwaway email address just in case i get too much spam bayman1991 at gmail.com um yeah hit me up and we can chat prices and all that kind of stuff like I said, lots of, lots of cards, lots of cards for sale. Oh, look at Kadabra. And I'm sure I also had an Alakazam. Look at all these Charmanders. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Otherwise, this video is going to go on for way too long. So let me, let me end it off. Um, wait, 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 wait. One last thing. One last thing. So I kind of feel like we started with Charizard, so we have to end off with Charizard. And these are Topps Pokemon cards. So not like the trading card where you could actually use them in a game. But when you go on the internet, they somehow had a yeah, scary amount of value. And these two are perfect condition because never like played with them in any sort of card game. So yeah, if there are people looking for them, I have them. As well as actually a whole bunch of other cards in this series. I've got a Bulbasaur, and then a lot from number 75 to 150. Basically, yeah, almost all of the ones from 75 to 150 I've got. So if you are looking, um, let me know and we can sell those as well. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my Pokemon collection.